Please welcome Dee Snyder. Shape. Oh well, thank you. Yeah, <laughs> better than they, the other response. Yeah. <laughs> terrible. No, that's, a, that's a nice compliment. Now, where do you where do you shop? Where do you get your clothing? Uh, well, the the shirt is from the D. Snyder Saint Symphony line. I okay. have my own line. Jewelry by uh, King Baby, pants by Robbins. You know, it's a whole mishmash. <laughs> it's a mishmash. <laughs> yeah. It's a mishmash. Now you probably um, performed in Chicago many times, right? Uh, yes, sure have. Yes, absolutely. Chicago's a great rock town, as you well know. Uh -huh. You rock yourself. I just saw your video in the green room. Oh, you did? Thank oh, you. Yes, I did. Not bad. Not oh, right bad. on. Thank Wait, you. Which video was this? Uh, it's a music video. The Chicago video. Oh, yes. yes, you yes. saw Val in the camera. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Well, uh, you said you rock. Yes. Well. Well, it was it was Huey Lewis Ash. <laughs> Hey, you know what's right. funny, Dee, is uh, we actually have a connection because you're in a music video with my dad. That's a true story. Really? Yes. Really? Yes. <laughs> You're in a music video by the band Lit. Yeah. It's called Ziploc. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You recreate the uh, the whole "We're not going to take yeah, it." Except mantra. I play the father. Yeah. There's you as the father, yeah. right? Yes. Well, <laughs> well, my dad makes his living as a singer musician too, and he is actually the bartender in this music video. You're going to see him in just a sec. There he is, right there. Oh, right there. Yeah. <laughs> Back it up, That's him. There he is. Right there. Yes. <laughs> so, we're, so we're pretty much family, is what you I'm trying to say. Close. Yeah. And your brother's name is D. D. Yeah. You got it. So we got that. Well, let's talk about why you're in town. I am living in Chicago now, uh, rehearsing for the rock and roll. Yes. <laughs> I was just say living and loving Chicago, quite honestly. My wife has pronounced Chicago, and this is truly said this. She said, This is New York's prettier sister. Yeah. Um, she's <laughs> right. And from uh, lifetime New Yorkers, that's a hell of a compliment. So, yeah. You know? so uh, yeah, so we're rehearsing the Rock and Roll Christmas Tale, a musical I wrote, because uh, I thought it was time for a little edgier but still family friend friendly holiday show because I'm a big family guy. I'm the father of four. I'm the grandfather of three. Right. Wow. You've been 40 years. 38 years with Suzette. She does the costumes and hair and makeup wow. for the show. And she's my stylist as well. Mm. And uh, yeah, and I just wanted something new and it's a little cooler for the holidays. And so I wrote my own show. So mm. now you're a Chicagoan. You got to tell us what you're doing, where you're going, where you're eating. Everywhere. I mean, is, this, is there a bad restaurant in no, this town? There's not, oh my God. Really. You talk about staying in shape. This isn't going to last another week. <laughs> well, let me, I do have to ask you New York pizza or Chicago pizza? Um, well, I don't eat much pizza, as you can imagine. But, uh, <laughs> but I'm sure I'm you've town, had a slice. There's actually a line in the show about coming to town for Chicago pizza, so I'm just saying. <laughs> no, no, it says it go. right there. You know, I gotta, let's go back to Christmas and Dee Snyder and, and three grandkids. What's Christmas morning like with the grandkids over at the Snyder household? I mean, are they getting jewelry? Are they getting, <laughs> does everybody do the rock and roll horn? Did you invent this too, by the <laughs> No, way? I did not invent this. Yeah. Ronnie James Dio gets credit. Gene Simmons does not. He, yeah. they, they argue about that, or did argue. And um, I'm a real traditional family guy. I mean, you look at me and you say no, but but, you know, I don't want my life at home to be chaotic. I want it to be sane and, and wonderful and nice. And we have a huge tree and uh, all the decorations. And that's, and that's part of the reason for doing the show. Every year we make the trip into the city. We go to see a show. We go to see the tree, the lights, and all that stuff. And, you know, and after seeing, we've been doing it for years and years and years. I just felt we're at a time where just about everybody in this room, everybody's been raised on rock, almost everybody. So my granddaughter and my Myself can both enjoy a show that rocks, you know, as long as it's still got a, a ha the heart for Christmas. And this show is a very Christmassy show. Sure, it's about a band that sells their soul to the devil for fame and fortune. <laughs> But <laughs> they, they just find the magic of Christmas. And it's here for a while. It's here November 4th through January 4th. So there's no excuse for anyone not to see it. Yeah, nine weeks. 
nine weeks to be performing, run. eight shows a week. But it's a, it's you know it's, it's a nice run, it's a limited run at the same time. And don't forget about the D Snyder Experience. Oh, what is that? Well, that's where you get to come and meet, hang out with me after the show, yeah. and you get like the best seats in the house and everything. So that's kind of cool too. And and I'm I'm a fairly friendly guy. I'm not one of those queen wave <laughs> celebrities, you know. Hello. <laughs> That was D. He just walked by. I missed him. That was I it. Missed. I'm sorry. That was your experience. That, that was, was it. it. Now, now, this surprised me about you. You actually grew up singing in the choir. Yeah. Yeah, I sang in the church choir. I sang in the uh, in the school choir, uh, and that's probably the reason why the first six notes of "We're Not Going to Take It" are "O Come All Ye Faithful." <laughs> Didn't realize it at the time, oh. but it was a blessed accident. So thank you for that. And actually, we make a big deal about that in the show. There's a mashup of "We're Not Going to Take It" and "O Come All Ye Faithful" oh, wow. as the band fights the spirit of Christmas, which who, that's been possessing them ever since they sold their souls. Has <laughs> Has God sued you for royalties on that? <laughs> Fortunately, God likes me, <laughs> so he gives me a gratis use. Okay, good. <laughs> gratis use. Yes. Nice. Wait. So, oh, go ahead. Oh, yeah, well, I was just going to say, I have, I have t a couple people who were so excited about you coming. My friends, they were like, hey, you know, he's not only incredible, but he's really smart. He's an intellectual. There's this whole other side of you yeah, I'm that is like... Yeah, blowing up the myth about uh, rock stars. Yeah. Yeah, I was always an alien in the rock star community. Like I said, I've been with Suzette for 38 years. Yeah. That's like this men's freestyle rock star indoor record, I think. And, <laughs> I, and, uh, and uh, you know, and, and, and I never did drugs, and I never drank. And I... Wow. Uh, So imagine all that in the 80s and all the other bands look at me going, what's his problem? <laughs> and I'm going, no, dude, you don't get it. It's a long game. We're not playing a short game. And here, you know, I'm relatively young and I've got grandkids and I'm, I'm embracing life. And I got friends who go, you know, I got to get it together. I think I'm going to get married. Dude, you're almost 60. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're going we're gonna to see some of that intellect in just a quick yes. second. We're going to take a quick break because we're going to have some host chat. I hear that you're really excited about getting in on our host chat. Oh, yeah, I love, I love talk radio. And oh, we no, got I love hosting, and I'm ready. All right. Oh, well, there's a, there's a, a series with O.J. Simpson. Uh-oh. Ryan's taking <laughs> yes. the day off Monday. Uh, I'm in. Fill in. O.J. Simpson's in the news because there's a new series, Nine Weeks. Would you watch it? I saw the first the first time they did it. You know? <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> we'll <laughs> <laughs>